PS Plus Extra and Premium members get unlimited access to hundreds of amazing games through the PS Plus game catalog, but with a constantly evolving collection and so many titles to choose from, it's hard to pick just one game to start playing. In this video, we've carefully selected the best 20 games currently available on PS Plus. Number 20 is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. If you're in search of a game that seamlessly blends magic, guns, and chaos, then Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is the perfect choice for you. This game serves as a spin-off from the widely acclaimed first-person shooter Borderlands, yet it elevates the magical elements with a predominant focus on spells and fantasy. Engage in battles against a variety of monsters and explore dungeons brimming with treasure, all while being guided by Tiny Tina. Step into this magical world and navigate your way through impressive cities, dreamlike forests, and incredible fortresses to take on the challenge of defeating the Dragon Lord. The game offers both local and online multiplayer modes, allowing you to engage in battles with up to four friends. With a unique sense of humor, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands provides a fantastic level of personalization for your avatar. The game's mechanics ensure an enjoyable experience, even though it maintains continuity with the previous series, we consider it a standalone gem within the main series. Number 19 is Odin Spear, a remake of the PS2 classic. This release enhances an already near-perfect experience by smoothing out the original release's rough edges and introducing several fresh ideas. The side-scrolling action RPG unfolds a surprisingly lengthy story, featuring five playable heroes, each a joy to utilize with their unique play styles. With stunning visuals, stylish and deep combat, robust progression, and memorable characters, Odin's Spear epitomizes gaming at its peak powers, making it a must-play for anyone with a PS Plus subscription. Even those who played the PS2 version extensively should consider trying out the remake, as it adds enough new elements to make the experience feel refreshingly novel. Number 18 is Maneater, an action-packed open-world RPG that flips the script on traditional gaming narratives. As a relentless shark navigating the waters of the Gulf Coast, you're in for a wild ride filled with chaos and a healthy dose of underwater mayhem. Maneater stands out for its unique premise, allowing players to experience the world through the eyes of a shark on a quest for vengeance. The game combines a satirical tone with an expansive underwater environment, providing a refreshing take on the action RPG genre. Maneater encourages exploration, offering a diverse range of underwater environments. Engage in dynamic battles against various marine life, human threats, and even other apex predators, all while uncovering the deep sea secrets that lie beneath the surface. Number 17 is Teardown. Do you ever have one of those days when you just want to break everything in sight? Now you can without having to clean everything up afterward. Teardown is a sandbox puzzler where everything can be destroyed. This game is at its best when it drops players into a sandbox and tells them to cut loose with a wide variety of vehicles and weapons. While the appeal is simple and straightforward, Teardown does have a fair amount of variety thanks to its range of maps and tools, along with mod support that will hopefully flourish on consoles. If someone wants a more curated experience, they can jump into a surprisingly lengthy campaign, an addition the developer could have gotten away with skipping, but its inclusion is nevertheless appreciated. Believe me, not every game needs to be complex. Sometimes, nothing hits the spot like wanton destruction, and Teardown caters to this activity better than most titles. Number 16 is Alien Isolation. This release is widely considered one of the best survival horror games available on PS Plus, with many praising it as one of the best video games based on the Alien franchise to date. Players take on the role of Amanda as she fights to survive against creepy androids and a xenomorph alien. Isolation takes its cues from the original Alien movie, functioning more as a sci-fi horror experience with minimal focus on action. While Amanda does have some weapons to defend herself, one of her most important tools is the motion tracker that she uses to keep track of the Xenomorph's whereabouts. This way, Amanda can do everything possible to avoid the Xenomorph and stay hidden from all the other threats actively trying to kill her. Alien Isolation offers a unique experience and is undoubtedly among the best games available on PS Plus. Number 15 is Grime, 
an atmospheric action RPG that defies traditional gaming boundaries. This captivating game invites players to navigate a bizarre and ever-shifting landscape, where the boundaries between the organic and the otherworldly blur into a seamless, hauntingly beautiful experience. The game's organic art style, coupled with dynamic, pulsating landscapes, creates a unique and surreal atmosphere that draws players into its enigmatic depths. The combat system is a standout feature as players wield a living weapon that evolves alongside them, providing a dynamic and customizable approach to combat. The game challenges players to master the intricacies of its combat mechanics, rewarding those who can seamlessly blend offensive and defensive maneuvers in the face of formidable adversaries. Grime is an expertly crafted 2D action-adventure RPG that combines satisfying combat, tight platforming, and rewarding progression. Number 14 is Dragon's Dogma, a game that's seen a remarkable surge in popularity over the past decade. It's transformed from an initially overlooked title to a beloved cult favorite, celebrated for its engaging combat and distinctive companion system. For those new to the game, Take advantage of its inclusion in the PS Plus library to dive into this well-aged gem, with the Dark Horizon version standing out as the optimal way to experience this RPG. Set in a small but dense open world, Dragon's Dogma shines the brightest when its combat takes center stage. While newcomers may encounter a slow and somewhat frustrating opening few hours in the campaign, it's crucial to power through, as the game truly hits its stride later on. The Dark Resin expansion introduces a new island that amps up the action, complete with a difficulty boost that distinguishes it from the base content. Dragon's Dogma boasts a flexible class system, granting players the freedom to craft their characters as they see fit. The RPG also employs a unique party system, allowing players to create an NPC that can be summoned by others. This ingenious concept, known as pawns, stands as the game's most renowned mechanic and lives up to the hype. Number 13 is The Surge 2. Both games in the Surge series are available on PS Plus, providing players with over 50 hours of entertaining hack-and-slash gameplay. While the first entry has its strengths, the sequel improves upon almost every aspect of its predecessor. The combat in The Surge 2 is satisfyingly smooth, allowing players to target specific limbs of enemies. It offers a diverse range of weapons to explore and upgrade, ensuring players are always on the hunt for scraps and parts. The Surge 2 presents a compelling dystopian setting and fleshes out the world's backstory through immersive environmental storytelling. It excels as a choice for those seeking a hack-and-slash take on the sci-fi formula, offering an exceptional gameplay experience. Number 12 is Riders Republic, a high-octane extreme sports game that brings the thrill of the mountains to life in a captivating playground. Assemble your crew and immerse yourself in a dynamic environment that seamlessly blends the exhilaration of extreme sports with the awe-inspiring beauty of the American National Parks. This title features iconic national parks transformed into massive playgrounds for extreme sports enthusiasts and the diverse landscapes serve as the backdrop for an array of adrenaline-pumping activities, including downhill biking, snowboarding, skiing, and wingsuit flying. The game's multiplayer-focused experience allows players to team up with friends or compete against a vast community of riders in various events and challenges. The vibrant and dynamic visuals showcase the stunning beauty of the national parks, with a day and night cycle and dynamic weather adding an extra layer of immersion. Overall, Riders Republic is a fantastic game and the most addictive extreme sports experience available on PS Plus. Number 11 is Heavenly Sword. Ninja Theory's game has a peculiar reputation since its release during a time when the PS3 faced a serious shortage of exclusives. Consequently, Heavenly Sword was marketed as a system seller akin to something like God of War. That is simply too much pressure to put on any game, let alone a new intellectual property. However, when viewed in isolation, Heavenly Sword more than holds its own in the hack-and-slash genre. Ninja Theory crafted a fast-paced battle system revolving around a multi-form weapon, and the combat is a great deal of fun despite lacking depth. The game elevates a decent story through the use of motion capture technology, and its cutscenes rank among the most visually impressive games on PlayStation Plus. 
Number 10 is Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, a bold and action-packed entry into the renowned Final Fantasy universe. This release takes players on a thrilling adventure, weaving a dark narrative against the backdrop of a fantastical realm filled with magic, mythical creatures, and powerful warriors. Stranger of Paradise introduces a fresh perspective to the Final Fantasy series, blending a compelling narrative with intense action gameplay. Immerse yourself in a world where chaos and darkness threaten to consume everything, and only a trio of protagonists, each with their own unique abilities and backgrounds, stand as the last line of defense against impending doom. The combat system in this title is a standout feature, offering a fast-paced and dynamic experience. You will engage in challenging battles against iconic Final Fantasy creatures, utilizing a variety of weapons and magical abilities to overcome formidable foes. Stranger of Paradise brings back classic characters in an honorable way. It is a good choice for fans of the franchise and lovers of the genre. If you're enjoying this video so far, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Number 9 is Clonoa Fantasy Reverie Series. The PS1 and PS2 eras introduced numerous retired mascots that starred in delightful adventures. Although they didn't rival Mario or Sonic in popularity, these IPs still found audiences, contributing to a vibrant era for platformers in the late 90s and early 2000s, spanning both 2D and 3D varieties. Clonoa sits somewhere in the middle of those two dimensions, offering predominantly side-scrolling escapades while playing around with perspective to add depth. Clonoa Fantasy Reverie series comes packaged with remasters of the two PlayStation games, although Door to Phantom Isles Y remake was used instead of the original PS1 classic. Both titles are short and sweet, delivering family-friendly journeys that prioritize visual splendor above difficulty. That's not to say they require no effort from players, but neither entry presents much of a challenge. Players who grew up with this franchise can look forward to a healthy helping of nostalgia. Meanwhile, newcomers get to experience two cult favorites that have been modernized just enough to make them more accessible to a modern audience. It also does not hurt that both Clonoa games have aged well, to the point that the original versions are still completely playable. Number 8 is Lost Judgment. This gripping crime thriller unveils the next chapter in the life of a brilliant yet troubled private detective. The sequel masterfully refines the investigative gameplay introduced in its predecessor. Within a meticulously crafted open world, players navigate bustling city streets, unraveling a web of deceit, mystery, and intrigue. The game seamlessly blends intense combat sequences with a captivating narrative enabling players to solve complex cases and engage in exhilarating street brawls. Beyond offering a visually stunning experience, Lost Judgment stands as a testament to the studio's commitment to delivering a captivating narrative and immersive gameplay. Number 7 is Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, a tactical stealth game that seamlessly blends historical authenticity with strategic depth. Set against a backdrop of samurai intrigue and political turmoil, this game offers a gripping narrative that unfolds through the eyes of a diverse group of skilled assassins. Navigate through intricately designed levels, where every step and silent kill matters. Shadow Tactics requires players to employ a combination of wit and precision, utilizing the unique abilities of each character to overcome challenging obstacles and outsmart enemies. The isometric perspective provides a comprehensive view of the battlefield, allowing players to plan their moves meticulously. While Shadow Tactics doesn't shy away from its difficulty, the reward lies in the satisfaction of executing a flawless plan or adapting on the fly when things go wrong. The game's mechanics, coupled with its atmospheric soundtrack, create an engaging and immersive experience that transcends the conventional stealth genre. Number 6 is The Last of Us Remastered, one of the most phenomenal games ever, a masterpiece that received a standing ovation from critics and players. The Last of Us follows the story of Joel and Ellie as they traverse the post-apocalyptic United States after a mutant fungus outbreak turns everyone into zombies. The amount of character drama, narrative twists, and emotions in this title are simply unmatched by even the biggest survival titles. The Last of Us takes a familiar premise and delivers a profound character study filled with unforgettable moments. The gameplay is hard-hitting and intense 
blending elements of adventure, survival, action, stealth, and continuous exploration. Number 5 is Rayman Legends. The Rayman series is one of the most well-known names in the platforming genre. With numerous titles, its influence has spanned decades and ventured into various gaming styles. Thankfully, with the addition of Rayman Legends, Sony didn't forget to include at least one entry from this legendary series in its PS Plus catalog. Fortunately, they chose one of the best. Rayman Legends supports four-player co-op, allowing you to enjoy one of the finest platforming games with up to three friends. This always results in an endlessly enjoyable and laughter-filled experience. Rayman Legends barely sets a foot wrong as it combines beautiful modern visuals with smooth platforming gameplay that even manages to make underwater levels enjoyable. The game is also quite challenging, and the campaign doesn't wait too long to ramp up its difficulty. Number 4 is Outer Wilds, a gem of a game with precious few peers, both in terms of content and quality. The sun is set to explode in 22 minutes and take out the solar system with it. Fortunately, the protagonist is stuck in a time loop that resets whenever everything is wiped out. Furthermore, the player character happens to be an astronaut who can quickly travel to an array of planets in search of knowledge about the sun's destructive future. Outer Wilds is an open-world game that focuses on exploration and puzzles, the latter of which also takes the form of the overall mystery that needs to be pieced together through careful research and discovery. Outside the central plot, the game comes with quite a bit of secondary content and smaller stories that are just waiting to be heard. Number 5 is Grand Theft Auto V. GTA V is comfortably among the most famous open-world games of all time. Rockstar's masterpiece debuted at the tail end of the PS3 era, garnering universal praise for its gorgeous Los Santos setting, enjoyable story, multiple protagonists, and addictive gameplay. Since then, the game's single player has been entirely overshadowed by GTA Online, a multiplayer mode that is also part of the package available on PS Plus. Rockstar regularly updates this content with new events or items, so while the mode's chaotic nature might not be for everyone, those who enjoy it have a lot of material at their fingertips. Despite initially debuting in 2013, GTA V's campaign holds up well, especially since Rockstar has released native PS4 and PS5 versions. The narrative centers around a trio of criminals who have wildly different temperaments, backgrounds, and motives. Their dynamic starts out interesting and only improves as the story progresses. Outside the main missions, GTA V is absolutely stacked with optional content designed to simply allow players to spread mayhem across Los Santos streets. Number 2 is Dishonored 2. Building upon the success of its predecessor, the game takes significant strides forward on its own, continuing the story of Corvo and Emily, who seek to reclaim the throne after a coup. Dishonored 2 offers players the choice of controlling either character, each with unique skills that enhance replayability. It also features one of the most innovative and exhilarating levels in video game history, utilizing a time travel mechanic that astounds and inspires. Playing Dishonored 2 is a true pleasure, as it offers the ability to switch between mystical abilities, firearms, or a trusty retractable blade, providing a wide variety of engaging interactions. Number 1 is Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil is without question the most famous horror franchise in gaming, and it is eternally linked to the PlayStation brand. Premium subscribers can play through a healthy selection of entries from Capcom's license. The extra tier does not have quite as robust of a catalog, although it includes two notable projects in Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2 Remake. Resident Evil 7 marked the dawn of a new era for the series, one that was long overdue following a string of not-so-great releases. Despite being a departure from the traditional formula, the 2017 sequel returned the franchise to its horror roots, delivering one of its scariest campaigns. As great as it was, Resident Evil 7's switch to a first-person perspective meant that it could not scratch the same itch as its ancestors. Consequently, longtime fans craving something more familiar were treated to a remake of Resident Evil 2, one that offers arguably the definitive way to experience this chapter in the saga. Featuring gorgeous visuals, over-the-shoulder gameplay, and an intense Mr. X, the 2019 remake is a horror pinnacle that uses its classic predecessor as a launchpad to achieve heights afforded by modern technology.
Thank you for joining us as we discover the best games available on PS Plus. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, happy gaming.